Today, we are learning about foreshortening. Foreshortening is part of perspective. Foreshortening. Foreshortening is when the angle at which we look at something changes how it looks. It affects size and space. This is a good example of foreshortening. See how Hulk's one hand looks much bigger than the other one? That is foreshortening because they are actually both the same size. Okay, so with this picture, the Hulk is running like this. So his one fist looks a lot bigger than the other fist. Can you see? My fist is bigger to the camera and this other fist is far away and it's not as big. But if I put my fists together like this, they would be the same size. Okay, that's what foreshortening is. Foreshortening is when something looks bigger than it actually is um, because of the angle. All right, boys. It is now time to start our art. Now what we're going to do is we are going to trace around our feet. Well, we're going to draw around our feet. So I've got this piece of paper that I've already got all these beautiful colors on. That is the color that I would like my shoes to be. You can make your shoes whatever color you would like. So I'm going to put it on the floor like that. And I'm going to put my feet there. Now maybe some of us, hopefully everyone's feet will fit on an A4 piece of paper, but if they don't, don't worry. So I'm going to get my pencil and I'm going to draw all the way around my shoe so that I can use this for the feet of my person in this exercise. Okay, so we're going to draw around both our feet and our hands. I'm going to pause the video now here. Okay, so now I've cut out the um, shapes of my shoes, which is really fun and colorful. Boys, you can do whatever you want for the, um, the base of your shoes. You can even do textures on the bottom if you'd like. Then these are going to get stuck onto your piece of paper, somewhere like that. And now I need to do my hands, okay? So I'm going to trace around my hands and then I'm going to stick them there, probably like that. And I'm going to draw my person in the middle here. So I'm going to get started doing um, my hands quickly, drawing around my hands. And then once I've done that, um, I'll show you the next step. Okay boys, now I have done my hands, I've cut them out, I actually probably should have coloured them in before I cut them out, but I wanted to show you this quickly. So, your um, shoes are going to be here in the corners, coming off the paper is absolutely fine, and your hands coming off the paper is also absolutely fine. Then, what I'm going to do next is I need to draw my person, so I need to draw myself here. It doesn't matter if it doesn't look exactly like me. It can be a cartoon version. Remember, we did do stylized faces um, and we have learned a little bit about cartoons. So you can draw a cartoon person here. Smaller. Remember, with foreshortening, um, the hands and the feet in this image will look bigger and the person will look further away. Um, it is a part of perspective. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, draw in my person, colour in my hands my colour and then you can obviously colour in your hands your colour, you can give your person gloves, whatever you would like to do um, or you could use very funky fun colours like I've done with the shoes and um, once I've drawn in my person I'll show you. Next step, draw your person. Remember, just try your best. Here is my example. Okay boys, now I've done my person, now she's all dry, I did mine in paint, but please remember you can use twisties or anything you have at home, um, and it doesn't have to be perfect, this doesn't look exactly like me, but it's an idea, and you don't have to do the whole body, so you can just do the forearms and maybe just a little bit of the legs, because we are going to be covering most of thing, the things anyway. Now, I've done my hands here, I've added in some of my rings, and we are going to be putting the hands down first, so the thumbs will be going in, then you'll put your shoes next, okay? And then those shoes will be going out 
Looks like something like that. Maybe something, maybe a bit more up here. Okay, so now this will now look like this person has got their feet and their hands um, closer to the camera and their body further away. This is called foreshortening. All right, boys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just glue this all down and then I'll show you the end result. end result of my um, person I have quite big feet so so it is they are quite big on here but it is still a really good example of foreshortening and um, the person looks further away the hands and the feet are closer and I hope you really enjoy this exercise I had a lot of fun doing it and I look forward to seeing yours